such a beautiful view. Like it's a cracking view, isn't it? Can I shotgun this room? Go for it. You're designing it. Yeah, I design it. I get it. I'm Lucy. And I'm Jono. And this is Reno Goals. The moment has finally arrived when we get to design our very own bedroom. Yes. We're going to be adding two new bedrooms, each with its own ensuite, so that when the whole family come to stay, we all get our own space and privacy. Very important. <sighs> very important. The two new bedrooms are at the end of the hallway, which is part of the new wing. And do you know what the best thing about this, these new rooms are? What? All the walls, ceiling and floors are going to be perfectly straight. I thought you were going to say the best thing is that you don't have to build it. Yeah, well that too. <laughs> Gonna put robes in here. En suite. Ah, oh, yeah, en suite. Decent size en suite, it's almost square. Such a beautiful view. Like, it's a cracking view, isn't it? Can I shotgun this room? Go for it, you're designing it. Yeah, I design it, I get it. concept for these bedrooms is inspired by nature and I really want to bring in color. Now I want to differentiate both of these bedrooms and I want to bring in some bold rich tones. I have been looking at these Dulux colors. I've picked up a couple of swatches but I also grabbed some sample pots as well to help me decide. Ultimately this lower level I want it to feel like a different energy than what I did upstairs. So the upper level in this home is very soft, it's very warm it's very nostalgic but as you go into this lower level I wanted it to have a bit more energy and it still needs to be harmonious with what's going on upstairs but ultimately I want it to feel a bit fresher a bit more contemporary I've also designed robes for each of these bedrooms. I designed these with multi-store and I kept it pretty simple. I did actually base my design off my previous design that I did, which is the Loft Collection. So that's actually available at Bunnings. But I made a few variations to that. I changed the way that the drawers open and I also added doors because I didn't want to have those robes being open facing. The other main element in each of these rooms are the windows. We have installed beautiful timber hardwood frames. I love the timber. It's so rich and warm. I definitely want to keep that. It also helps to add to my nature concept. But the only other thing that I need to do is work out how to furnish them. So Chris from DIY Blinds came out to do a measure and we were able to chat about what was the best solution for the space. So then after that, it's just furniture and decor selection to really Really help bring this bedroom to life. in my happy place surrounded by color and I wanted to chat through some of the design decisions I'm making for these bedrooms. Now I've got two bedrooms that are very similar in terms of their layout and the finishes but I want to be able to differentiate them 
through the use of color on the wall. So I've got two rooms. One of them actually overlooks the ocean. So that's gonna be my blue room. And then the other one has got a beautiful large window that looks out onto the bush. So that's gonna be my green. So these were the colors that I was looking at. I loved all of them, but I have settled on these two. So this blue is actually called Press Agent. So this is a Dulux wash and wear. And then this green is, I love it. This is Misty Moss. So again, Dulux wash and wear. I'll move these out of the way. Okay, so these are my winners. With these, there's gonna be carpet in the room. So staying consistent, this is that far north Dane tree. This is carpet port. Again, it's very earthy and warm. Browns, mustards, really nice tones in there. And I like the way it sits with those two colors. There is going to be quite a lot of timber accents in this room. I've chosen a beautiful bed from RJ Living. And then we've also got these wonderful hardwood timber frame windows. So I like the addition of timber. Again, this is all about being very rich and earthy. For the robes, I worked with Multistore again to design those up and I'm gonna be using a Ashton white finish. This is the same finish that we used in the master. Very nice and simple and classic. And then for the handles, I'm gonna be bringing in this aged brass. I love this curved detail. So this is from Low & Co. For the curtains, I really wanted to bring in a fabric with a lot more texture and I really liked the tone of this Jillaby flax. We will be having roller blinds, but again, I want to hide them away. So I'll be building in pelmets. In terms of hardware, we're going to be bringing in this brush brass from Iva. So that will be consistent throughout. And I like the way that warmth pops in front of both that blue and that green. And then from there, I really want to bring in more color. I'm gonna do that through the bed linen. So I've grabbed some in-bed bed linen. I love these tones. I'll play around with what works best with which color. I also really liked the richness of this brown. This is actually a chestnut brown. Very earthy, very warm. In fact, I'll probably add in a couple of different layers. I'll think about what sheets I do as well. So these are the two bedrooms, the ocean room and the bush room, colorful and cozy. We've got ourselves a hallway, Jono. We've got walls and ceiling. We do. Jip rock is on. Oh my gosh, this is now, like this is starting to feel real and I'm starting to get very excited. Probably, probably needs to be a square. No. Square window. Yeah, you don't have to center it. And also that's not square. It is square. That's why I'm the designer. You're the fixer up. I'm the everything else. <laughs> you are the everything else. <laughs> I've got a couple of things. I've reached out to a few photographers. The theme in this room, it's the blue room. So it's about ocean. So I need to keep it that way. But I don't also want to be kitsch when it comes to choosing the artwork and be totally obvious. I feel like you just don't you need don't to. Want you don't need to spell it out. Artworks with swimming caps and I mean, swim between the flag signs and. Back in the day. Beach, sand, water, air. We used to. We designed and we sold that eat print in the kitchen. They oh. used to be cool. They used to be trendy, like diner, like telling you where you'd eat, and that doesn't. It's not cool anymore. I'm not, not entirely cool sure anymore. how cool it was. <laughs> So we're on our way to framing to a T because we've got some beautiful photographic prints that I want to get framed. Am I going to find a park in Brighton? Am I going to find a park in Brighton? Oh, it must be my lucky day. <laughs> I mean, that with that works really well. Would we keep going the same? It is a 
fresh, fun look, yeah. but you've created that sense of mood and just, it's a bit sexy. It is a bit sexy. Yeah. I've got that many colours in my head right now, I can't even compete. I don't know how you do it, Lucy. Um, amazing. See you. See ya. Thanks, Bye. Guys. Thanks See ya. Kobe. See ya. I always get very excited when I use a cat. She loves colour as much as I do. <laughs> Hey. Winning? Not really. Why? What's happened? Ropes don't fit. You're joking. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh no. <laughs> what? What are you doing? <laughs> These don't fit in here. Our robes, what? How much are we talking? The thickness of a sheet. Oh, okay, well. Which is really annoying because we like triple measured them. But now they don't fit, so yeah. um, I've got to get this sheet off really quick. I've got to do it in the other room as well. Okay. Because they're both the same. It's this much. That's how much we need, which is almost <laughs> the thickness of a sheet. So anyway, I've got to get this done because these have to be in today because carpet's happening. And I have to paint. You have to paint before carpet. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. I'm changing our channel name. What do you think? To Lucy Payne. Just dedicated to Lucy just painting. Always Rolling. painting and it's always late night painting. Oh my, it is. It's like Lucy paints at dusk and into the very, very late, late night. Late night with Lucy Cleadright <laughs> on the paintbrush again. So we are in the blue room, the soon to be blue room. We have got the floors being prepped and ready for carpet tomorrow. So I'm doing the skirt first and then I'll work my way up and make sure I finish everything else. So I'm kind of working backwards, but it's fine. Technically a tool. Definitely a tool. Well, I guess it is a tool. It's a tool of motivation. It is. Power on. Power on. See? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wait one second. Mm, 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 connect. Oh, it's already connected. Too Love smart. it. Too smart. All right. Technically, you're not going to be listening to what I'm listening to for a whole range of licensing and copyright issues, but hit copyright. play. changed my mind. Which one this time? <laughs> well, I was going to match the skirts and all the trim the arc to the same colour as the wall, press agent. But now I think I want contrasting. All right, what so does that mean? That means that all of the skirt that I've painted. You have to paint again? Yes. Well, that sounds fun. Um, but I think it will work. I'm I think it's what I'm doing. I'm going to get everything else finished anyway, and I will make a final call later today. But I think it's going to be high contrast, very coastal. I did want it to be more modern, but now looking at it in amongst everything, I think it's the right call. You need a bit of contrast. Yeah. All right. More work for me. Way more work. But I think I want to do it. All right. Okay. Stefan from Carver Court's gonna come back on Tuesday and be like, what? Just messing with his head. Hopefully he likes it. What are you doing now? Painting over the skirt. You're painting over the skirts that you already <laughs> painted. You're sending yourself crazy. I'm pretty sure at some point in the last few days, you said to me, I always change my mind. And I'm pretty sure I said, oh, I never change my mind. Yeah, well. I take that back, because clearly. You've changed your mind. <laughs> Do you know what? Mistakes happen. Keep painting. I can't always be right all of the time, but I'm right now. Like right now, I'm correct. <laughs> all right, I'll leave you with that thought. Oh, and I also made a change of the curtains. <laughs> Check back in later. Well, maybe we'll just wait for the reveal now. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a surprise for both of us. Trust me. God. Okay, bye. Bye. What have you noticed? Nothing, everything's fine. Painting the skirt, changing my mind about painting the skirt did cost me a bit more time than I had anticipated. Easily half a day, a bit annoying. That's what happens when you have to do a job twice. So now, it takes you twice the time. The only thing is that the carpet is in here now, which looks absolutely beautiful, but I haven't obviously painted. So that's my job today. I'm going to cover this carpet so incredibly well because I am not getting any green paint on this floor. So help me. So this is me. Today I'm going to paint this. I'm going to do everything that I did in the blue room in here, but green. Cool. Can't wait to see it. Neither can I. Oh, my right biceps like trembling at the thought, but let's do this.
some pretty bed linen. Sure, what have you got? Come on over. Look at it all. Look at this. So this is from In Bed. I am just in my happy place. So that's chestnut. This is mist. This is stone. It's beautiful. And then I've just got a really nice charcoal. Is that uh, Jono approved? I don't know which one's going where yet. Well, does it matter? Is it approved? Yeah, they're all good. I know. I always choose well. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to style up the bed, but I'm glad you're here, Jono, because... Hang on. Look what arrived from framing to a T. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Take a bow. How good is that? I love that colored mount board. Love it. it. Turned out so well. I'm so happy with it. So this is a Wren pigeon print. Oh, Dusty's come in to see what's going on. Wren, I mean, Wren, Dusty, come, come see the good news. Hi, hi. So anyway, Jono, I love this. It's beautiful. And I'm going to need your help to hang it. Well, let's get it on the wall. Thank you. Do you have a hammer? No, but I'll, I've got a camera actually. <laughs> Put the camera down, it's hammer time. Why are you sleeping on the job? Just having a nap. It's been a big, it's been a big renovation. Yeah, but we're not finished. I know. Can I just say though, haven't slept in a koala mattress or pillows before until this project. I have had the pleasure of sleeping in it for the last however many nights. And very, very comfortable. Very comfortable. Happy? Very happy. Do you know what freaked me out? What? And they've got these things. I was like, oh, some of the pillows are soft because they have S on them. And then, because I was like, oh, but that one's firm. I was like, oh no, like I didn't know you could order soft or firm. And then so I was like moving them around to be like, try and give everyone some soft, some firm. But then I realized one side soft, one side's firm. So that drove me slightly insane. Ingenious. <laughs> when I was moving them around, I'm like, what? They keep changing. I, yeah, but how clever is that? So I prefer the soft side. You fully, your head just sinks in. But you do have a firm one as well for your big noggin. Yeah, it needs more support. <laughs> yeah. Look at this piece. I thought this was the perfect addition for my beautiful green room. So this is called River Life. It's from Loie Hunter, AKA Salty One. Who met Loie? Wasn't he a cracker? He yeah. came and visited us here. He's from down the coast actually. So he does these um, beautiful markings all around Australia and these wonderful coastlines. So this is in Yorta Yorta country, morning glory in New South Wales. So I just loved that. We've got the gum. I loved the colors. I think that'll work really well. So because it's smaller and because we have quite a large king bed, I'm thinking we do like right aligned. So probably not too far across, but maybe something, I don't know, sitting in that way. What do you think? Looks good. I think so. All right, let's I get think, it up. Yeah, let's go. Finishing touches to the side tables. A little bit of a hack. Well, not really a hack, but it's a good cheapie. I always love having greenery in the bedroom. So this is literally a cutting of Devil's Ivy. And I popped it in a glass bottle, which I drank a juice out of earlier this week. <laughs> so I just took the label off, washed it, and I had myself a nice clear vase. 
Yep. Let's go. Do you know what? I really enjoyed designing these bedrooms. Like, really enjoyed it. Yeah, you love using colour. <laughs> I do love colour. I think that's what it is. It's creating that really rich base and I find that quite easy to layer on top of. I can't actually decide which room I prefer. I like both of them so much. Like, they're both quite unique even though they're very similar in terms of their layout. I mean, they both have very similar pieces in them, but they, but they feel completely different. They do. And they've got different outlooks. They do. Yeah. And I really like that. I actually really like the green room and the feeling in there. The depth of that green is beautiful. I love the artwork on the walls. It ties in beautifully with the warmth of that brown cushion as well. They're both quite dark and moody tones. I think it's also quite dramatic as well because it is at the end of the hallway. So you get to travel down and I like that addition of the colour being at the very end of the hallway because it's so calm and serene you've got that beautiful timber flooring and then you enter into that soft carpet once you hit the bedroom it's a good transition very good transition mm. the carpet is calm B. it is so i actually was nervous about choosing carpet in a beach home as soon as we installed it in the first bedroom i was like nah this is so good like it actually is it like changes the game really mm. carpet's so good in bedrooms so good the windows are fantastic very good windows, very happy with how they turned yeah, out. Great size. I mm. love the hardwood timber. They both have very different outlooks and I like the way that we brought in pelmets as well. I like the addition of the curtains. That fabric is beautiful. It adds to that earthy texture. I think one thing that we nailed in there, which is very important, is the storage. We yes. didn't have a lot of space to play with. We have a space for an ensuite, and then the space behind the opposite ensuite is the space for the robe. So we're quite restricted in what we could put in there yeah. to make it all seamless and flush and not stick out into the room. But I think it works really well. I love the aged brass of those Low & Co handles. They work really well on those doors. They're a good size as well. The artwork. That actually sets the tone. I like to use artwork as an additional way to tell your story and your concept. And so it really was a way for me to kind of tie in these ocean and kind of bush themes without being too cliche and kitsch. Uh, <laughs> but I really loved that coloured mount board that we did with that beautiful wren pigeon piece oh, above it came out the so bed well. in the blue room. It came up so Great well. Great tones of work with the colours of the wall and the bed ah, and everything. Now I kind of want to go back and add coloured mount board to other pieces that I've got now. And I picked up on some of those mustardy, warm yellow tones as well. I tried to pick up on that in some of the decor as also some little books and styling pieces as well. So, and also Salty's piece in the bush room is so perfect for that space. It is perfect for that space. It just, it's, and, and the framing as well, it's rich, it's warm, and it really works within that setting. Well, again, you've used a lot of different timbers in there and that's a timber frame exactly. piece. Exactly. And it works really well, the bed, the window frames, all the rest of it, bedsides. And I liked balancing that. So we did hang that to the right of the bed. So I've just added a couple of pieces over towards the left and I've actually used that ledge of that beautiful linear bed from RJ Living. I actually chose that bed specifically because it had that ledge because I like having a place to put my books or my phone or my, you know, cup of tea. It's nice having an additional sort of Ledge. Shelf. shelf. Yeah. That's the word I'm looking it's for. <laughs> I like having an additional shelf so I can put my things. So we did design a little bit on site. We had the layouts of the rooms, but we chopped and changed a few things. Things like adding cavity sliders to the en suites, mm. say a good space saver. Yes, absolutely. And with the hardware from Iva, really nice finish, which matches the normal door hardware that we've got everywhere else. All throughout the house, that yeah. hardware, it's absolutely beautiful. What was the only challenge we had in that room? Only? Well, what was the biggest challenge we had in that room? <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. When the robes didn't fit. Oh, that was not a great day. No, not a great day. Oh, that was a sad day. Yeah. I felt so bad for you. Yeah. You did so good I had though. I chip it all off. <laughs> I wonder you know what went wrong 
there. I, I don't feel know. like we measured this Nine so mil. many times. We did. Nine oh. mil. It was the thickness of the board. Oh. So the VJ100 <laughs> on the walls from Easy Craft, such a good product because yeah. it's stiff, it goes on straight, it's nice and easy to work with. But hard to rip off if you make a mistake. If you want to take it off, <laughs> yeah. it's really stiff and hard and well fastened to the wall. <laughs> And it comes off in tiny little pieces. <laughs> you were just simply testing yeah. its durability. <laughs> yeah. Tested it to the max with my hammer. So both those bedrooms do have en suites. They do. TBC. TBC. That might be next up. In fact, that is next, next up. up. <laughs> <laughs> we will be making over the en suites for these two new bedrooms. I, for one, am excited to show you. What about you? Excited? Yeah, they're Tackle. pretty good. <laughs> So en suites, these are leading off our two hero bedrooms with the ocean and the forest room. Made a mistake. Whoops, what right. was the mistake? Oh, we forgot about the window. Are you attracted to me still? No, no. That's fair. What are you looking at? Oh, the green room. And I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I am like legit obsessed. Just an average no, day. Just... I think I'm one paint stroke away from like, I don't know whether to laugh or cry. It is a very unforgiving color. It is very dark, but I did find my groove. It's all about finding your groove and getting into it. And when I reminded myself that I wasn't actually performing, you know, heart surgery and I was just painting a wall, I think I calmed down a bit. What is that? I think the boxes, the pillows are singing <gasps> a lullaby. Oh my God, stop it. That is not, is that actually happening? Ash, do you hear that or am I crazy? You're crazy. No, stop it! You hear it! Tell me you hear it! 